In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to run the Gun Bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are new to the channel here, I just want to encourage you to subscribe. We post videos every single day that are just designed to help you help you get better in the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. Now, in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be talking about the gun bunch. And to do that, I needed to grab the New York Jets gun bunch. Now, if you have not gotten my New York Jets uh, offensive ebook, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It is the entire gun bunch broken down in depth. And the beauty of the Jets ebook is that it doesn't just break down the gun bunch. It breaks down the bunch. It also breaks down the bunch tight end as well as the trips tight end offset, which are three very solid formations. In fact, at some point in Madden 21, we've seen competitive players use solely the bunch tight end or solely the bunch or solely the trips tight end offset. So you can basically get three of the top tier schemes rolled into one now in today's video like i said i'm talking about the gun bunch and i want to open up this video sharing with you a new way to think about offense and the reason i want to talk about this is because this is something that i struggle with um, i think that a lot of people struggle with and that is that some and it's a statement that i heard recently and basically what the statement essentially comes down to is that success can can lead to failure and what that basically means is it means that as you are successful, as you find plays that are effective, what that's going to do is it's going to give you options. So if you can think of for, for a second with me um, about the New England Patriots playbook. In the New England Patriots playbook, there is a very good gun bunch. There is also a very good trips tight end. There's also a very good um, U-trips, right? There's also a very good XYZ, right? There's a good uh, formation, uh, ace close. There's ace slot offs. There's split close. Like there's all of these really, really good formations. And if we're not careful, what we're gonna do as Madden players is we're gonna start to substitute the good options for the best option. And that is something that I'm trying to be very, very intentional on my channel about teaching you guys because I think it's actually a groundbreaking principle if you can really come to grasp it. And what I'm getting at here is that if we simplify our offense to the core three to five plays that we need, the power play, the counter play, constraint theory plays to catch the defense off guard, rush head, three head rushing attack, and a red zone system, I think that we're gonna actually gain a lot of success offensively. And so, because what's gonna happen is, with the empty space, we are gonna be able to focus in on execution. So we've kind of created margin for ourselves to be able to focus on execution. And so, I wanna share with you in today's video what I believe to be the best passing concept out of Gun Bunch. You've probably heard me talk about it before, but I want to start with this because as I unravel this Gun Bunch scheme, you have to start somewhere. You have to start with one to two to three to four plays. And so in this video, we're starting with the play Flood as the best passing concept from the Gun Bunch this year. And the reason why is because of its simplicity, but also because of the fact that it is very versatile and it does a ton of damage against the most popular defenses, the meta in this game. And one of the things that I wanna hit on really quickly before we dive into the tip, um, and just to, because you need this context to understand this, is Zan, uh, someone that I really respect in the Madden community, he's got a ton of great knowledge. Um, in fact, out of everyone, I don't really buy a whole lot of eBooks, but I actually did purchase Zan's eBook because I wanted to learn what he was doing. He's one of the most innovative players year in and year out. And one of the things that he talked about, he's talking about the meta, is he said that basically what happens is every single year in Madden, because he's been playing Madden for just about as long as I have, maybe a little bit longer. Um, every single year in Madden, there is something that will cut off about 80 to 90 percent of the way people play the game. In this year's game, it's the 3-3-5 wide defense. It's why the 3-3-5 wide is so effective. is because it's a specific style of defense that essentially will cut off the majority of what everybody wants to do on the offensive side of the ball. It's why I wrote an entire defensive guide on this. And if you want to get that, that is also in the description. But the, the point of that statement is I think it's the same is true on the opposite side of the ball. Every year in Madden, they call it the meta, the most effective tactics available. 
on the offensive side of the ball, there is one to two things that will really stand out. There's some, you know, very, very effective, very, very uh, high level. And in this year's game, in my opinion, Flood is that play uh, for a lot of reasons. It's got, it's got a little bit of a glitch in it. Um, it's also got very just sound football principles. It's also very um, simple, right? You only have to make one to two adjustments to make it effective. There's a lot of reasons as to why this is the power play, but in essence, this is the power play. And so here's how I would recommend running this play. And the reason why I'm going to recommend running it this particular way is because it's going to set up other things that we're going to do um, with our counterplay from Bunch. The first step we're going to do is we're just going to put the option route out there to the running back, and we're just going to snap the ball. And basically what we're going to see here is that pretty much everything is going to be open. It's going to be very difficult for our opponent to stop this. In fact, let me share with you this real quick. This is Mike Blitz 3, and essentially what they're going to have to do is with their user, they're going to have to kind of choose. So let's say that they choose the left side. Let's say they choose to go to the left. If they choose to go to the left, then you're going to choose to work the right side. And all you're going to do here is just low ball that R1 route. As you see that little low ball right there, it's super effective, and it's been effective all season long. Now, if you remember in my zone drops, one of the more popular ways that people are going to be doing zone drops this year is they're going to be putting their flat zones on 5 yards. They're going to be putting their curl flats on 25 yards. The beauty of flood is that as this route runs, you see that a 25-yard curl flat zone is not going to be able to defend it. So I can wait for that thing to get all the way to the sideline. Another little thing that I can do, and this one's a little bit more, um, I would say this one is just a little bit more risky, but it is still very effective, and that is to smart route the R1 receiver. So if you smart route the R1 receiver, you're going to see that's going to go at about 10 yards as opposed to 15. That's just going to give you more room, as you see here. But this is primarily with a five-yard flat zone. Now, I want to share with you a popular adjustment that I actually recommend to a lot of people, and I want to share with you how to deal with it. It is when they do, do a couple of different things. So the first thing that they might do is they might shift this, uh, shift this. So they might put these on 25, and they might put these on 10. If they do that adjustment right there, I want to just share with you kind of how you're going to work this. The beauty of a power play, whenever you talk about a power play, it's to basically go an inch wide and a mile deep. As Vince Lombardi would say, it's the play that we must make go. It's the play that we will make go. It's the play that we will run again and again and again. What is that play? And if you don't have that power play, in my opinion, I would tell you that you are very, very unfocused and you don't have an actual offensive scheme. What you have is probably a collection of money plays that you learned on YouTube, but you have no, no cohesive system and no intentionality to do that. That's exactly why I write offensive guides and defensive guides. It's why we wrote the bunch guide, is to give you an intention system where you can work through the process of step one, step two, step three, step four, and this is going to give you some success. So if you want to learn my entire system for the bunch, that's in the description. But back to the tip here, if they put that 10-yard purple zone out there, then I want to show you here, you should throw this, this little route. This flat route is very good. Um, it's one of the most, it's probably um, one of my favorite things about Madden 21 is that the flats actually matter this year. If you played Madden 20, you will probably remember that the flats were not very effective. It was very difficult to attack the flats. So people could basically just simply blitz seven and play cover four and essentially just dominate you. It's not like that anymore. Um, it, is, it is not like that anymore, okay? And so because of that, we now have the ability to be able to push the defense. If the defense is starting to make little adjustments here and there, then what you're going to see is, again, this flat route is going to be open, and I'm going to throw it, and I'm going to get 7 to 10 yards. One of the other things I talked about was I talked about the glitchiness of the play flood. And again, one of the most popular ways um, to play defense this year is to literally play this exact defense that I'm showing you right here, where we basically just drop you know, everybody into coverage, maybe, maybe rush one, maybe two people. Um, but essentially, we're going to play double flats. We're going to have a flat at five, and we're going to have a flat at 25, and we're going to play cover three. If they play cover three on you, this circle receiver, nine times out of ten, will be wide open. Uh, right here, he didn't get open. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm not sure if I'm on the wrong hash. But normally, that circle receiver will get open against cover three. So I'll try that one more time. Um, but normally, that circle receiver will get open against cover three for a one-play touchdown. It's probably about 
uh, successful. It's not necessary. I mean, it, it it just depends on like how if they run into each other and all that stuff. If they if he's not open, then what that's going to mean is that the square receiver is going to be open. It's going to mean you're going to have some other things. But I do want to show you this. Let me try just like a standard cover three, and and I'll show you. And again, in our counterplay this depth, this is more of what I'm looking for right here. So right there, you see that. And then I can do this little swerve catch, and I got a shot. I got a shot. It's not always going to work, especially if the deep safety is from that other other side. Um, it's a lot more successful if we flip the cover three. So if they're running something like the cover three out of um, out of like uh, I think it's just a standard cover three out of three three five wide. If they're running something like that where there's no safety on this side of the field, this is like not even an option. I mean, this is like an easy bomb over the top. That's exactly what I was trying to show you. Um, now, if the safety's on that side, it actually does normally get open in game for me. So I'm not sure why it's not getting open here. Probably just some practice uh, mode glitches. But anyways, um, you have that option against cover three. So what it does is it, it cuts off. Again, it cuts off one of the main ways people want to play defense. So now what they've got to do is they've got to come back and they've got to maybe try something different. So what they might try is they might try some match coverage. And so I want to share with you this as well. This is something that probably most of you know by now. But if this if, if they run match coverage on this, this is almost always a guaranteed one-play touchdown. Basically, the corner and the safety glitch out. They don't really know who to guard. And the circle receiver is literally wide open for a one-play touchdown. Okay? It's a very, very simple thing, but it's very, very effective. And so what it does is it forces, again, it forces an adjustment. So the adjustment might be that they're going to have to put this guy in a deep half. But if you play this out, if you actually run the play against match coverage, what you're going to see is this is going to create all other kinds of openings. As you see right there, the out route is literally wide open. Due to the match coverage, they want to jump down onto the flat route, which leaves the out route wide open. Now you might say, well, okay, Cody, but what if they user it? What if they take this with their user? Well, then what's gonna happen, and I'll show you that real quickly, is they're gonna have to make that adjustment, and then they're gonna have to make that adjustment, and so let's just assume that the R1 receiver is taken away because they're usering him, then what's going to happen is this triangle receiver is gonna get wide open on the left side, and that is the beauty of the bunch. Basically, when you are developing a power play, you want a play that is very, very difficult to stop, a play that requires adjustment. And if you can do that, you are on the uh, beginning of building an effective offense. This is why the bunch is so good. Flood is the best play in the game right now. The only one that may be in combination with that would maybe be the, the boot over from, from bunch tight end. You have both plays in the Jets playbook. And so if you want to get my complete Jets offensive guide that has the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset, you can get that complete offensive guide in the description with video breakdowns, written setups, and film analysis. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to get that guide, it is just $15 and it is in the description.